I got to a point where I was happy with how this is going to lay out. This looked nice to me. Um, a couple of things I adjusted, a couple of things I made to account for. Uh, and then from there, what do I do next? Well, from there, I now take this, I go put it in the airplane, I sit in the airplane, put it in the upholstery so I'm roughly at the height I'm going to be, and I sit there and I make noises. And I make all sorts of noises. Uh, take off, landing, a go around. I used to do a lot of wiring this way. And we used to use the, I prefer circuit breakers over fuses. Um, so in that I have breakable switches, circuit breaker on the switch, or you never know. It's always nice to have, and there is a spare one here as well. And here we'll just tilt and have a look inside. This is what makes it great, guys. The switches are in here. It's it's a circuit board, which it's, it's a copper board at first. It's double-sided, so we have the exact same printed circuitry on the other side. It's also lead-dipped. Now, the nice thing about this is it's a very simple, very basic system. We're not done as I've, I've, I've drawn out on my panel. What I always do is I'll center line the panel in both directions because now I know where things are going to be placed in, in relative before I even try and sit in the airplane and check it out. But I know roughly what's, what's going to be in the center. Just set that through there, this in through the hole, and then I'll put this one up in the front. And I need a spacer along with my nut. And we should hear two cracks as the metal perforates. Oh, we can hear one starting. There goes one. There goes two. That's to start on the, the cutout for the dining, what I've done here is I've taken the actual piece itself, the actual cage the dining sits into, and I've put it on, and I've drawn out roughly my inside opening, and it's 25 thou thick. You could probably score right through this in five or six nice simple little cuts, but we're and that's how easy it is. A nice simple straight panel for the dining. And we'll talk more about this in, in a bit. Uh, in some of the functions it has. And look at that. Um, just because I want to have a seat again and try it out. So everything's done. And really, guys, our, our panel is really flimsy now. Um, uh, we will start building strength as we start installing the pieces into it. One thing you will notice is as I am pulling these, the framework that comes with your the dining unit, if you decide to go that route, really does reinforce the panel really adds a huge amount of strength to it and if you're going with a, a, a six pack of gauges then you're probably going to have to build in some type of a channeling in the back especially if you go to the radio stack you put in a radio stack get the a mounting tray so that all, all rivets in here So as you see, most of the panel, we have all the parts in now, and it's looking pretty good. It's looking really snappy. The one that we've turned the panel around, and you see the back side of it now. We're just having a quick browse here. Right now we're into wiring up the dyno, and now along with the dyno, we also purchased the wiring harness right from, from dyno. So, most of the wiring is already done. You can make these yourself. They give you the instructions on how to wire up the connectors. But really for the cost of it and the time and the effort, it really is worthwhile just to get the unit right from dying itself. Now go ahead, we're going to strip these out. We're going to hook these in. And we got some other connections for the, the, the DB9 as well here. And I also have an outside air temperature for this, which is here, which we're going to have to install in the system as well. And on these, because of what type of connector they are, they are color-coded. Pin 1 is the very top, right above 6. And that's snapped in. So there's all the connections there. That's all done. 
Okay, so we've completed the connections to the Dynan, the magnetic compass and everything else. And we've applied power to both the Dynan as well as to our moving map system. So the screen's a lot brighter now, as you can see. The Dynan has some really nice features onto it. Um, it has the uh, mile per hour tape as well as your speed. And this can be changed to nautical miles. It has the magnetic heading. And it's a gyroscopic magnetic heading, which is really kind of nice. Your altimeter in both the tape as well as a readout. And it has them over here. Now, once again, we've looked at this briefly. This is the EKP4 by FMAP. Really, it's a nice system. Nice large display screen. Your heading's off on the side. You can give your estimated time of arrival, the whole bit. You can do your flight plans in here. A lot of it's just a simple move, it, move the cursor around. You can tell the airport you're at as you move the cursor. It shows up the airport that your cursor runs over. And you So next thing on my list is to strip it all out again. It's all got to come out and I'll paint the panel because it's, it's ready, it's all prepped, ready for painting. And then reinstall everything as final. And then I can start uh, putting in all the final screws and do all the final wiring, hook up all, all my trims, everything. One thing you do need to do while you're building your panel is take a lot of pictures. You need to document what you're doing as well as a reminder. You can go back, check your pictures to see where you've been, what you've done. And always have two. Never have just the one in your system. Um, I prefer one on each side of the fuselage. This way it's balanced. If you do get a plug into one, you still have the other one operating. Don't put it in your cabin. The cabin does have a different pressure. Uh, depending on the speed you're traveling at and everything else. So you will get false readings that way. Def now I have on, on my little kit here, I have a complete drop-down system. I'm going to have a little rail along the back here inside my cabin. And I have T's. So the line will come in, both the pitot, the static. The line will come in, it'll go to the next instrument, and it will also have a drop-down. Pull the line out. Put the line in. And that's how fast. That's how fast you can do your, your whole vacuum system. That's in there. It's tight. It's not going anywhere. We just string it along. Your panel will probably look a lot different. It will probably be all hooked up differently. Whether you use quick connectors, uh, a, a homemade bus system, um, or several different types of buses. The, this one here actually has two built into it. You can have three, four, uh, dual battery redundant system. These are all things that you need to decide if you want to add those features.